The house is wired in 12 volt DC. Um, it's unusual to have a direct current um, wiring in a house, but um, being off grid and um, living up here in the woods, I kind of imagine that I'm going to have to do a fair bit of my own work on the electrical system. And as far as I know, nobody's died from direct current, so it seems to be sensible to have a 12 volt system. The lighting I use is all LED lights, so it, a small display like that is about 12 watts of power, so very, very low consumption. Um, don't use a great deal of power in the house at all. Um, probably the main use is a small central heating pump that pumps the surplus heat from the Rayburn, which, is, which runs on wood, um, around the radiators once the water's got too hot. This is the power room for the house and for my workshop. So all the power generated off um, solar and wind comes into here and is stored in these batteries. These are three and a half thousand amp hour batteries. In lay terms, that means if we don't have any sun or wind for a few days, I'll still have lights on in the house. These store the energy and hold them in the batteries, and then it's either um, transported through to the house as 12 volt direct current, or else it can be inverted through this two and a half kilowatt inverter for the workshop to run power tools. The whole system has readouts of exactly what's going on, so I can keep an eye on what level my batteries are at, how much power is coming in from each particular set of solar panels, and um, really sort of monitor the system and how well it's performing. Um, summertime, it really outperforms. I've got plenty of power. And in the winter, we're at an early stage of monitoring it, but it seems like I've got just the right amount to um, run all the house um, comfortably and use the power tools, but to a slightly more limited supply in the winter obviously working around days when the wind is good and when there's more sun. But overall this system works, um, works really well for an off-grid situation like this.